I hear so many buyers coming out saying, do we wait to buy? Is the market crashing? Market gonna crash? I don't think so. Stay tuned for this rundown on the mid-year 2022 market update. Hey everyone, it's Melanie Corey and George Murad bringing you our mid-year 2022 market update. So let's break this down into the top three topics. First topic we're gonna get into is the rising interest rates. Now, historically, our interest rates are at the lowest levels they've ever been in the last decade. And right now, they're still relatively low than we've seen in the last, say, seven or eight years. So a lot of people have this intuition that, oh my goodness, with the rates rising, the market's gonna crash. Well, let me tell you, market uh, prices and sales do not move as quickly as interest rates, which rise and go down on a daily basis. It takes time for these properties. And right now, we don't see any uh, decline in prices. If anything, we're seeing a little bit more of a stabilization in prices. Because for the last year and a half, we were on an upwards trend of going straight up and up and up with double digit increases per year. Yeah, so let's talk about um, how there's still a housing shortage. There is. So what happened is, is right now our population has grew by an astronomical amount. And when we had our last crisis in 2008, 2009, builders stopped building and demand continued to rise. So right now where they're trying to kind of play a catch up game, trying to make enough properties. And that's why right now we're having demand supersede the supply that's currently available, even in the current market that we're in. So what would you say is the biggest difference between 08 and now? Well, in 08, it was a propped up market, and that's why the market ended up eventually receding back and there was a slight crash with foreclosures and et cetera. Right now, the process in order to get a mortgage is much tighter than it was in 08, and people who are in properties right now need to be in properties and can be in properties. Also, you have this new influx of buyers who are coming into the market that are well qualified, have great jobs, make great income, and are ready to buy. And that's why there's a big difference between the last uh, housing uh, crisis we had in 08 and today. Even today, we really don't have a crisis. What do we have? We actually have a fantastic market for buyers. Now buyers can actually go in and think about the property for more than three seconds, <laughs> make an offer without having to compete with another dozen people, and possibly able to negotiate better terms and conditions without having to give everything up. It's actually a great time for them. And if you look at it, what's even funnier, Mel, is if you look at how the rates were in the early 80s at 15, 16, 17%, the home that was $200,000 then, if you look at today's rate, even at 5.5 where it is today, that $500,000 house today at 5.5 is still cheaper than what people were paying in the early 80s. So a lot of times it's all about perspective. It's never a better time to buy than now, or it's never a worse time to buy than now. This is actually a fantastic forecast for anyone that wants to get into the market because you're having a little bit less competition with outside investors, outside hedge funds. I mean, right now, you aren't only competing against other buyers in the market, you are competing against foreign governments, hedge funds, investors, because when the rates were so attractively low, it was a fantastic place to park their money. Yep. Now, they actually get to go out there and have a little bit of a quote unquote normal market. If you love sound of all of this, which is one of the reasons Red Door Metro is amazing, because we do have tons of knowledge through experience and research, reach out to us, let us sit you down for a consult, and once again, thank you all for allowing Red Door Metro to be your doorway to better living.